If you're using speed lights and the cost of batteries is driving you nuts, then keep watching. In this Tech Corner video, I will show you how to save hundreds of dollars each year on batteries for your flash. When you first start using speed lights, you quickly realize that they are power hungry beasts and cheap batteries barely last a single session. To get fast recycle times on your flash for the duration of the shoot, you need good expensive batteries, which very quickly get expensive. So in this video, I want to show you how to keep your flash firing while saving you hundreds of dollars. Since this is a global channel, prices will vary country to country. So for this video, I will use local prices right here in Australia. As you probably already know, as your batteries wear down, the recycle time, especially at higher power settings, will get longer and longer until you get to a point where the recycle time is so long it makes the flash unusable. Using budget batteries will get you there much faster than using expensive batteries. Personally, if I need batteries for a speed light, I would reach straight for the Energizer Ultimate Lithium AA batteries, but you could get away with Energizer Max Plus AA batteries. I will also assume in this video you are shooting with off-camera flash and are therefore using two speed lights in a shoot. If you use more than two speed lights, your savings will be even greater. At the time of filming this video, a pack of four Energizer Ultimate Lithium AA batteries at Coles was $18. A 16 pack of Energizer Max Plus AA batteries is $24, making it $6 per four batteries. A significant saving, but at the cost of performance. Assuming you do one shoot per month with two speed lights, Energizer Lithium AA will cost you $36 per month or $432 a year. If you opt to use the cheaper Max Plus batteries, it works out to be $12 per month or $104 a year. This calculation is based on you going to every shoot with fresh batteries, which is best practice. There is nothing worse than needing to replace your batteries 30 shots into a new shoot or waiting excessively long for your flash to recycle. If you do two shoots a month, the cost of batteries doubles. And if you're shooting every weekend, the cost doubles again. As you can see, it gets very expensive very quickly. So is there a better option? It turns out there is. Rechargeable batteries may initially seem like an expensive option, especially since you also need to purchase an appropriate charger. But let's have a look at just how expensive it really is. As far as rechargeable batteries go, I use and highly recommend the Eneloop Pro batteries. The Black Pro batteries are the highest capacity Eneloop batteries and I personally would not use anything else. I just want to make it clear that I am not sponsored by Panasonic to talk about these batteries. It is simply what I use with my photography business and I do believe these are the best batteries around. Again, at the time of filming this video, Ted's cameras are selling a 4-pack of Eneloop Pro AA batteries for $29.95 and an 8-pack for $49.95. Since you need 8 batteries for two speed lights, let's stick with the 8-pack and call it $50 even for simplicity. I personally like to have a set of backup batteries on every shoot just in case I'm really pushing the speed lights at near full power or the shoot goes a bit longer than expected. You don't have to, but I will assume you like to have a bit of redundancy when it comes to power. So two packs of eight Eneloop Pro batteries will set you back around $100. Next, we need a charger. Make sure you are getting a quality charger that can do nickel metal hydride batteries. As a side note on chargers, the cheap ones charge batteries in pairs, which means if you only put a single battery in it, nothing will happen. The issue with these charges is that they can't measure the state of individual batteries, just the combined pairs, which can affect how well each battery is charged and can even reduce the life of the batteries themselves. I found a great 8 battery charger with independent charging slots on Amazon for $43.46 plus $10.22 shipping, so $54 to keep it nice around numbers. So far, this setup has cost you $154. If you opted not to have the backup batteries, it's only $104. You can already see that over a year the cheapest recommended batteries will cost you $144 and our 8 batteries and charger is only $104, saving you $40 already. And comparing that to the quality batteries, you have already saved $328, so you might as well splurge a little and get the backup batteries for the extra $50. Keep in mind, this is based on one shoot a month. If you do two shoots a month or one half shoot every weekend, the savings are insane. But the advantage of using rechargeable batteries doesn't end there. 
Due to the way rechargeable batteries work, your speed lights will recycle actually faster compared to standard batteries. Also, since they are rechargeable, you are going to every shoot with fully charged batteries regardless of how much or how little were used in the previous shoot. Unlike nickel cadmium batteries, these batteries can be topped up regardless how little they may have been used without any adverse effects. Finally, Analog Pro batteries can be recharged up to 1500 times before they need to be replaced. So if you shoot once a month, they will in theory need to be replaced once every 125 years. If you shoot every weekend, you should be good for around 28 years. Obviously, batteries also have a shelf life, so to expect these batteries to still be working in 125 years might be a big ask, but they will definitely outlast your camera and speed light. Personally, I use these batteries in a professional setting shooting events up to six days a week, and over five years I've had these, I'm yet to replace a single battery. So initially, it may sound expensive to spend $154 on a set of batteries and a charger, but as you can see, you will make that back in less than a year when compared to buying standard batteries. And in years 2 through to 10, you won't have to spend a cent. So stop throwing your money away on traditional batteries. Photography is expensive enough, so don't make it more expensive for yourself. If you have found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up as it helps other people see it. I will leave a link below to all the brands and products I have mentioned in this video to help you get started. However, please note these are not affiliate links where I get paid from them, so feel free to do your own research with your own local suppliers. Finally, if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on our future videos.